All right, my name is Brian Cole. Um, I'm a postdoc over at Penn. And it's really great to be here to talk to a tech crowd, especially because science is in a really bad place. Long, longer uh, slides. Than um, the, uh, currently, science is in the midst of a crisis where um, a lot of people cannot get the same uh, results back even when they use the same data. And this has led some people to write papers even uh, saying that most of science research is not true. Um, in my lab, we do these um, studies called GWAS, where we simply look for genes that are more common in people that have a trait than people that don't. So this could be cancer or blindness or Google Cloud versus others, say. Um, and it turns out that one of the main reasons why people don't get the same genes back is because of the QC pipeline that is upstream of people who fit uh, sort of GWAS uh, stats models. And, um, how this actually works in the real world is that even if two different study sites, say different places, um, are trying to follow the same steps, I can't really make sure that they have the same software and that they have the same har hardware stack or even that they're using the same versions of public data. Um, so I got some grant funding from AWS to make a cloud tool that could solve this problem. Um, to show you one case that this um, goes down, this is a plot of the same data set that I used the same model on and only varied the QC pipeline. You see one of the very top hits does not show up in QC pipeline B. And this would be published and this would go into downstream work. Um, so I thought that the DevOps model would probably give us a, a better way to do QC. Um, through, through three different keys. One is that I can control everybody's hardware by using a template. And that makes uh, everything the same. And then I can also image all of my software um, and all of the public data, which does sort of drift and change over, over time. And then the final thing is that I can make workflows totally on GitHub. Um, and for this project, I've used a popular notebook tool um, that is called JuPyter. Um, and that's, uh, you know, uses Python, which is a very, very common language for other people. So I envisioned a model where uh, people could get the same hardware stack, um, even if they're at very different places, like say Europe, um, and they could get the same software, and I could also clone in the very same workflow. So I built a little virtual app um, that has a template, first of all, that describes the same server version um, that everybody gets, and also has block store volumes written into it. And this is really cool because I can actually image these, and I can keep versions of public data and the whole software stack on there, which also is code that I've written too, um, and takes versions of public data. And uh, when this thing boots up, um, it actually clones in off of, off of GitHub the full um, notebook that you need to do all steps and to generate plots and to clean up data. Um, and that's cloned in at launch. And then as this thing boots up, it generates a um, tokenized link and through the Jupyter server, sends this link out to the uh, user. And that token means that other people cannot actually get into it. So that's how I've tried to keep it safe. Um, and I just want to show you some of the uh, results that I got for this. I've just sent out a paper about this. I used a study called Neighbor, which is a study of a leading cause of blindness. Um, and I just wanted to note, and this is pretty crucial, that I'm not actually sharing this um, data set. It's not public. Um, so it's not bundled up in there. But I just wanted to demonstrate a couple of the plots that people do commonly publish. And the code to generate these plots is written into the actual um, notebook. And to do this, I've used the R language with a couple of plotting libraries. Um, and this is my favorite plot. This is a plot that has a whole, a whole merging pipeline with 1,000 Genomes Project data, which are genomes from people from 26 different parts of the world. And you can plot where your study samples are in that. So we get these great plots that show African genome samples in red, Europeans in light blue, um, South Asians in pink, and then Eastern Asians in green. And here's our study um, uh, sort of laid onto that plot. Um, so I think the, th the three keys here 
are to have a template for all, all the hardware, to have images of, of the whole software and, and um, data stack, and to have the whole workflow um, controlled via VC. And I'd like to thank my, my lab and my funding. Yeah.